Hello, this is Paul from Play. And this is Josh from X1. We're taking a look at Super Time Force Ultra, which is going to be coming to PlayStation 4 and Vita. Now, Josh, you've played it on Xbox One. I have played it on the Superior Console. Thank you, Paul. The Superior Console. And I, I've played it on a PC, so we've, we've both had a chance to give it a go. And uh, it's very good, isn't it? It is very good. Um, it's, again, one of those really super crazy games from, from Cappy and the thing you always know you're going to get from that studio is sort of a very simple looking game on the outside with mm. some really bizarre mechanics on the uh, on the outside and I, that's what I love about Super Time Force is it just it really threw me as yeah. to how sort of innovative and fun it was yeah so for anyone who doesn't know it's a, a 2D action game you've got a minute to complete the level but at any point you can rewind time but, like David style. Yeah, but your previous run that you did still plays out on yeah. the next go. So you, you end up basically with multiple characters all going through the level yeah, at once. Yeah, I mean, in a way, you're sort of doing co-op with yourself, Yeah. right? So, like, you could, you could have a big boss enemy and he's always firing lasers out, but you could have maybe a couple of your, you know, your deaths get in front of the laser so that gives you a chance to then slip in underneath and attack him from a different angle and it's all working in tandem and it's very crazy i love it yeah it's also got some systems where you can um you can sort of save somebody from death yep um which means they then appear as a, a character that you sort of collect and that gives you yep. like an extra life and extra power because it every we say every character's got a normal attack and a special attack yep um, if you then collect a character which which has pre previously died, then you get their special attack as well. Yep. I mean, it all sounds very complicated, but it's kind of it's once you get your head around it, it's, it's yeah. yeah, it's it's really easy. Um, I think uh, one yeah. of the other really things, cool things that I really love is just the, the ridiculous character selection as well. So yeah. like you know you've got your you know your big macho Rambo types, but then you've also got like a dinosaur on a skateboard, he's rocking some sunglasses. I'm down with that. Like, if that's not instant purchase material, I don't know what is. Yeah, the, the story's like really stupid yes. and like funny as well. It's, it, the dialogue's good. Dialogue's great. I mean, it's a beautiful looking game as well. It's yeah. sort of got that retro chic aesthetic, yeah. which obviously every indie game since <laughs> yeah. five years ago has. But, you know, it looks great, it sounds great. It's got a cool soundtrack. And um, I think, honestly, it must buy for anyone that's into yeah. like metal, uh, metal slug sort of games. It's just super fun. Yeah, it's just a really great action game. And they do some really, some of the levels do some really clever things with like the time rewinding mechanic. Like um, there's a level where you have to escort like a missile along and stop it from yeah. getting destroyed. So you're trying to get through the level, but you're also working out ways to like protect the missile and stop attacks. So they do some really cool things with, with, the, with the mechanics. You get to visit loads of different time periods. Yep. Dinosaur times, medieval times the future and uh, yeah it's just a really great action game it's it's really silly it is silly and it is. the time mechanic thing does it's got a little learning curve I think it took me maybe to the end of the first world and the first big boss to truly get my head around it because I was getting spanked on twitch which everyone had a good <laughs> laugh at it's like but you know once I got my head around it it was actually probably uh, obviously played it last year it's probably one of the best indie games for me that came out in 2014 so you know, an Ultimate Edition, they've had a chance to sort of tweak some of the systems that maybe didn't work quite as well the first time around. And now you guys are going to be getting a fantastic game that's probably even better than when it first came out. Yeah, can't say further than that. So look out for it on PS4 and Vita.